The images and stories of destruction and death following the recent earthquake in Haiti are heart-wrenching in their intensity. In the immediate hours and days after the earthquake, millions of dollars were donated to international aid organizations. But is all disaster aid created equal? To discuss the ethics of disaster relief, we sat down with Jacob Remus, graduate student in the History Department at Duke and a member of the Keenan Institute for Ethics Graduate Colloquium. Jacob studies labor history with a focus on urban disasters, including the Great Salem Fire of 1914, an event that left 18,000 people homeless or jobless in Salem, Massachusetts. One of the things we don't always think about in a disaster is how the aid that we collect is going to be dispersed and how it's going to be received. A distinction I draw is between charity on one hand and solidarity on the other. Charity is given in one direction people who have more prestige, more status, more money, more power, to people who have less of all of those things. And everyone in that transaction knows who's who. They know who the more is, and they know who the less is. Solidarity, on the other hand, is given in a spirit of mutual aid. Uh, I help you, you help me, we help each other. Collectively, we help ourselves. I argue that it's really important to give in a spirit of solidarity for ethical reasons, because it builds that sense of ourselves, and because it builds a more sustainable and, and equitable relationship of power, and also because it's actually more effective and more sustainable as a way of giving aid. So the question then becomes, when the disaster is far away, like in the Haiti earthquake, how do we give that aid in a spirit of solidarity? Uh, one of the ways to do that is to give to local organizations run by Haitians, employing Haitians that have been in Haiti for a long time, because those organizations are already embedded in these networks of solidarity, already have the local knowledge, and they're going to be there for a long time after all of the international outside relief agencies have left to move on to the next disaster. Another difficulty confronting us in the wake of disasters is what is commonly referred to as compassion fatigue, the idea that our attention and concern for the victims of a disaster will disappear as the media attention fades away. We asked Jacob about this possibility in light of his research on urban disasters. We're not always very good about thinking long term when it comes to disasters because they're sudden, they're exciting, they grab our attention, they grab our pocketbooks. But then when the television cameras move on, so does our attention. One of the benefits of solidarity is that it builds real relationships, relationships of equals, uh, relationships built on trust, relationships that last a long time. So uh, for Haiti, if we've given in a spirit of solidarity, if we have uh, built a community of equals between Americans and Haitians, if we have supported organizations of Haitians helping Haitians, then when uh, Haitians are rebuilding their society, we can stand beside them in a spirit of solidarity, shoulder to shoulder with them, supporting them, rather than merely seeing our relationship as one of charity.